breezy channel. There's someone in the background mowing their lawn, so hopefully you can hear me, and I think they're gonna be done soon. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. I have this beautiful tutu. It's longer, but I love the embellishments that are on the front. And I have this handmade, well, not really handmade. This is a palette that Jake got. And then I sanded it and painted it for this challenge and for my business. What I'm gonna do is an Extreme Heels Challenge, walking across this platform stage in two different pairs of heels. And I have them right here. So the first pair is this beautiful white eight inch pair of pleaser heels. And then this is the surprise pair of heels. That is a 10 inch pair of heels. Before we get to that, I would like to talk about the things that I have on. It's really loud outside today. So I am wearing this beautiful LV uh, scent. It's Rose Devant. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I just wanted to show this for like, you know, aesthetic. This is a vintage perfume bottle that I got at an antique store. And then I have my Dior Lip Maximizer. And these two color palettes have been some of the most amazing eyeshadows um, that I think I've ever had. So I'm using both of these today. And then I have on my lips Clinique lipstick. You can see it in there. And I'm really in love with these bottles because they have like a magnetic top. So cool. And their scents are amazing. It's like in between a perfume and a body spray. So it's not too strong, but it doesn't like fade right away. So love this. And make sure that you catch all of my behind the scenes footage on my OnlyFans where I will be doing stretching and fun clips of behind the scenes from this video and all of my other videos. It's hard to get on. I've been using these for pole practice. This is a challenge because these boards are uneven. Even though this palette is pretty flat, and I did sand off all the jaggedy edges, um, it's still uneven. So I'm gonna put these down here. What about my Halloween decorations? A lot of my Halloween decorations are still in Illinois, which is unfortunate. So what I'm gonna be doing is stepping down, and then up, and then across the stage. I think I imagined that this was going to be more difficult than it actually is. I need to destroy it. I actually plan on repainting this again. I use spray paint from Walmart for this stage, and it was more of, um, I don't know, like an experiment than it was anything else. this beautiful photo frame with the curtain in the backdrop. I know it looks really well because I'm so tall. Now I will be doing some ballet moves on the stage in heels. First one. I'm using these roses to like balance or something. Not helping. <laughs> Roses are not working, so I'm going to use my arms. Hey! Should I just tell you why? No. The thing about having two stages is that it feels like, well, not only is it not on even ground, but it feels like I'm rocking as I'm doing these movements. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. So now I'm going to put on my other pair of heels and do the challenge again. You can 
Jake's gonna have to hand me the other box because I cannot reach it. So these are the surprise heels. 10 inch rose gold glitter pleaser heels. I haven't used them very often and I wanted to use them today because I think they look pretty accurate. They almost look like ballet slippers. The way that they shimmer. I love that satin, that satin vibe. More sounds in the background. And dangerous. So that's what they look like. <laughs> Isn't that very ballet proper? Who cares? <laughs> I just ripped my tooth. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta make sure not to flash anybody because YouTube will report me or flag me or whatever. Look at that hole. I wonder if that hole is already there. This was a used costume that I got from a, my kid's dance studio. So it's very possible that that hole was already there. So here are the heels. I feel like these are my power heels. You know how people have power suits or like power blazers? I have power heels. Oh my gosh, it's so loud in the background. Let me know in the comments which heels are your favorite for this challenge. Do you prefer the 10 inch or do you like the eight inch? I'm not really sure which ones go better with the outfit, but I wanted to make it a challenge. So I wanted to have two pairs of heels. You can see I'm very wobbly in these. So I'm gonna be careful, don't worry. All right, so starting the challenge again. Woo. <laughs> Here we go, once across and once back. It wasn't too hard. Now I have to do some ballet moves just to make it the same for each pair of heels. Do my left leg this time. I always do both sides, always. <laughs> I just wanna point out that these are very heavy. So when you lift your leg in a double peg, you instantly feel like you're toppling over. It makes it a million times more difficult for anybody who knows what a double peg is. Gotta work your butt muscles even harder. difficult with these heels if you wouldn't think that like just that little bit of a difference in height would make a ballet move more difficult but it does all right now i'm gonna get down and now i'm gonna do some splits in my heels just chilling down here with my heels there's a nice breeze going you know how i like my breeze Right, so I'm going to do some splits while being YouTube appropriate. Is YouTube appropriate? Mostly? Who even knows what YouTube appropriate is anymore? Everybody doing everything, not getting flagged, and then <laughs> me trying to do some dance stuff and I get flagged. It's crazy. So, spoiler alert, on my OnlyFans, I will be doing splits, not YouTube appropriate. Still appropriate. I can't really say anything on here.
other slits. One thing that is really magical about these heels, when you're stretching, you can grab the heel and then pull it into your head. And it's just, it's the best thing. It makes stretching so much easier. Now let's look at them next to the curtain. So cool. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. If you made it this far, Let me know if you love these heels. And I will be wearing them again soon. I hope you have a fantastic Halloween and I will catch you next time. See ya! And now I am going to be filming my OnlyFans stuff. Hooray! So excited. So I will catch you over there. Bye.